Hi, so another quick update on the state of Plasma 2. As you know, we're uh, currently porting uh, the Plasma code base from Qt4 and KDE Libs, the KDE development platform, to Plasma 2 and KDE Frameworks, the more modular uh, version of uh, the KDE Frameworks. And um, parts of that is uh, that we are developing a new Plasma shell where we would earlier have different shells for different form factors. So for example, a Plasma desktop, Plasma netbook. Um, we will now have one shell that just loads different uh, layouts and that also makes it much easier uh, for us to switch between uh, those layouts. So what you see in front of you is um, a test version of this new Plasma shell, which uh, is already uh, able to do a few things. And one of the things um, that we uh, got working very recently is uh, more complex uh, containments. And that's what I'm showing now. Too. now so earlier we, um, uh, we made the QML imports uh, work. Uh, those, for example, provide uh, things like uh, dialogues, buttons, uh, in this case, drag and drop, icons and, uh, and all these things. And they also provide uh, access to certain plasmoid settings. So you can change, for example, the background uh, or make it busy. The uh, desktop, uh, the containment you've seen uh, here, the containment is basically a layout uh, for Plasma widgets. Is the desktop containment I started uh, developing <coughs> for Plasma 1. And you see that it also uh, works on Plasma 2 now. It's still uh, quite hacky and I had disabled uh, a few things like um, actions, but most of the things that have to do with interaction, uh, they work just fine. So we're now able to uh, restore uh, and save the layout of different uh, Plasma widgets. Also resizing uh, works. And as you can see here, we can also use all the fancy uh, OpenGL uh, shader effects that uh, we were using earlier. <coughs> and it doesn't actually interfere uh, with the layout. <coughs> There's a few uh, things uh, that are uh, that we are still working on. Um, for example, it is not terribly stable yet. We're getting a few crashes uh, here and there that uh, we will have to look into. Uh, the toolbox uh, is not yet there, as you can or cannot see. Um, and a few uh, other things, like the context menu is not very uh, complete right now, but it's another nice milestone in our quest uh, to move to uh, Plasma 2. So, see, you can already change the wallpaper. We got uh, all of two different uh, wallpaper uh, plugins for that. And the nice thing about this is that it's uh, actually loading uh, the UI to configure this uh, directly from, Q from the QML packages. So uh, we are also moving the configuration uh, UI for these things into QML. It's all work in progress. Uh, don't uh, worry if you see things that are uh, not working fine yet. Uh, we're still um, months away from um, being able to uh, to actually uh, use this in a uh, in a productive way. But uh, I think we're making really good progress, and it's a very promising uh, project. That's it, and thanks for watching.